Are you concerned about lead in your family's drinking water? Well, you should be. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I simplify water filtration so you can make some great decisions for your family. So we've been seeing some scary headlines lately in the Canadian press. And uh, so we can see this one here about lead in your tap water. Canada-wide investigation exposes dangerous levels of the toxic metal. And, uh, and this one too, uh, is Canada's tap water safe? Thousands of uh, test results show high lead levels across the country. And there's lots more headlines exactly like that in the past week or so. So what's going on? Well, you can see here that nine universities and 10 media organizations um, started doing tests. They did 12,000 test samples since 2014. What did they find? 33% of the test samples were above the national guidelines for lead in drinking water. And that's a big concern. Several cities that were actually tested, tested higher than the levels that they recorded in Flint, Michigan. And obviously, that's a big area of concern. So, how did the lead get in the water? I think that's the first thing we, we need to know. So I checked with Health Canada to find out what they say. So lead is not typically found naturally in North America in water. So how did it get there? Lead seeps into the water from the pipes, the infrastructure, the pipes throughout the whole municipality, but also the pipes going into the home, and in several instances already the, the pipes and the fittings within the home. So lead pipes, old wells, plumbing components, fittings, solder, solder up until I think it was 1975 or 76 had lead in it too. So um, it's leaching into the water. Um, how does it do that? Water is a natural solvent. So whatever comes into contact with, it absorbs. And it's absorbing the lead from those pipes and those fittings and, uh, and all that old infrastructure. This is the culprit right here. These old pipes and that's what's, what's uh, leaching into the infrastructure and getting lead into many Canadian homes. So what are the health effects of uh, drinking water with lead in it? So again, I went to Health Canada just to see what they would say. So inorganic lead compounds have been classified as, as possibly a carcinogenic to the humans. In other words, they can cause cancer. But they go on to say that's not the biggest concern. The biggest concern is how long-term effects of, of folks drinking uh, water with lead in it can, can affect the, the human body. So reduced cognition, increased blood pressure, and uh, renal dysfunction in adults, which is a big concern. Adverse neuro neurodevelopmental and behavioral aspects in children. And now we're getting closer to the real problem here. It's children. So the strongest association observed to date is between increased blood lead levels in children and reductions in intelligence quotient, IQ. IQs are, uh, are dropping because of the lead levels uh, in water when children drink water that has lead in it. So then I check with the Mayo Clinic just to see what they said about the whole thing. And uh, lead is a toxin to the human body and especially harmful to children due to their developmental uh, developing brain and nervous systems. Children can have the most serious effects on the neurological system, including poor concentration, behavioral issues, effects on IQ, again, lowering that IQ, and uh, academic achievement and developmental de delay. But the scariest part is the effects of lead are not reversible. So then I checked with the World Health Organization, see what they had to say about the topic. So lead exposure can have serious consequences for the health of children. At high levels of exposure, lead attacks the brain and central nervous system to cause coma, convulsions, and even death. Well, we're not talking about high levels here. We're talking about moderate levels, but again, above the national standard for lead. So reduced intelligence quotation, again, reduced IQ, behavioral changes, and reduced attention span, and increased antisocial behavior, and reduced educational attainment. In other words, the children won't do as well as in school. That's a big concern for any parent. Now we know the health effects of having lead in your drinking water. Click right here onto my next video and we'll talk about how to remove that lead and make that water safe for your family. I'll see you there.